why do you think the wide receivers are the best unit in the nation? Here it's just different. I mean, <laughs> overall, just you can see what people have done, especially with Tez and Evan and Trey. I mean, and just being able to see what they've done, of course, in their past seasons. But I feel like here it's just they're so explosive to make plays. Mm -hmm. they, they can take a one yard catch for a whole 99 yard. Bria Maranthus with quarterback Dante Moore. Dante, tell me what is the biggest difference in you this season to last season? Well, I feel like the biggest thing is uh, being a leader. Of course, being a true freshman, you know, in many games, it's pretty hard for, you know, many 22, 23 year olds to look at a 17, I mean, 18 year old, just really trying to have him lead a team. But yeah. I feel like my leadership has for sure changed. Um, you know, of course, I appreciate Coach Lanning for having, you know, leadership retreats and, you know, just giving us skills and videos to understand how to be a better leader. So I feel like my leadership has for sure improved a lot. <clears throat> Why do you think the wide receivers are the best unit in the nation? You know, many rooms have talented receivers, but here it's just different. I mean, <laughs> overall, just you can see what people have done, especially with Tez and Evan and Trey. I mean, and just being able to see what they've done, of course, in their past seasons. But I feel like here it's just they're so explosive to make plays. Mm -hmm. they, they can take a one yard catch for a whole 99 yards. I mean, <laughs> they can just be so different. We appreciate them for sure. It seems like you guys' weight room sessions are so intense and so competitive. How would you describe them? Here, Coach Love, he for sure has set a foundation that competition is the main thing, but of course we can protect ourselves. I mean, we're in the weight room less than heavy weight for sure, but he's making sure that he has a great staff that can help support us and make sure that we're doing the right things. And I know being here, I've gotten way faster, way stronger, and I've been playing some great numbers. So I feel like overall, just I appreciate Coach Love a lot. You know, I love him to death and he's a really good dude. He seems like he's kind of the class clown of the group too. He, yeah. he has a good relationship with everybody. You'll face your former coach, Chip Kelly, when he comes here, yeah. the Ohio State Buckeyes, he's the play caller there. Mm -hmm. What's that going to be like? I mean, you know, just another game that, of course, is going to be competitive. You know, he's going to be coming in and, you know, many fans appreciate him for what, he, what he's done at Oregon. So, yeah. like, overall, he's, you know, a really good dude, really smart coach. And, of course, it's going to be a great game for sure. Um, but after the game, can't wait to say what's up to him. What are you expecting? Like, you know, when you see him, are they going to be in trash talk before yeah. the game or after the game? No, no <laughs> there won't be no trash talk. Uh, I just, I'm just going to, you know, of course, talk to him, um, tell him I appreciate him a lot, you mm -hmm. know. That last year has, you know, put me in a for sure better headspace. I know my, the mistakes I made for sure is going to help me down the long run. Thank you so much, Dante. You so much. You're so easy you. to talk with.